Oh, family, Saturday morning. You are very brave. So thank you for being with us today. Um, and we want to thank Robert for being so wonderful in uploading all of these uh, prayers for the world to see. So Robert, thank you very, very, very much. Um, I hope you're all well. Thanks for being with us. Today we have Psalm 114 and a reading from uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 3. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, when the house of Jacob from among a people of an alien tongue, Judah became his sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea saw that and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you were driven back? You mountains, that you skipped like rams and you little hills like young sheep? Tremble, O earth, O earth. At the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool of water and the flintstone into a welling spring. May your creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation, receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Reading today comes from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 5 to 17. What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose, and each will receive wages according to the labour of each. For we are God's servants, working together. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid, that foundation is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will be visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. If the work is burned, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy, and you are that holy temple. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. In him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness shall dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Gracious Father, who in your great mercy made glad the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such awareness of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look, God, we um, bring before you all of our worries and our concerns this day. We thank you for all of our blessings and for your grace and for the things that you reveal to us, the little and the large. So thank you for surrounding us with your love and your grace and your many blessings. Help us to end this day well, knowing that you have guided us in every step that we do. We pray for our loved ones. We pray for those who have gone before us. And we pray that then at the end of our days, we too may see you in paradise there with all the saints to worship you forever. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So the Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord and let us give thanks to God. And may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Blessings, family. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care now.